And believe me, it's the easiest hobby in the world because they're just waiting for you to be yourself so they can find something wrong with you. I had one I hear the other day who was all pissed off at me about using bad language and talking about people and stuff. And then he got in my face about smoking cigarettes. I looked at him and I said, you know, my daddy lived to 92. He said, and he smoked cigarettes? I said, yeah, but he, mostly he just minded his own business. <laughs> they will do that, you know. For some reason, they feel like they got to preach at you. You'd think you only take one look at me, I'm like maybe the one at least I could listen to him. But, you know, you want to waste your time trying to convince me about religion. <laughs> I have a foolproof method of getting out of conversation. My daddy taught it to me. Thank you, sir. As soon as somebody tries to bring you a bad day, you hold up one finger until they stop talking. And you say, I was on my way to take a shit. Shuts them right up. And they ain't likely to follow you. You can use it. Sure. I mean, don't mind pissing people off. I mean, yeah. I have a quote, I have to piss off somebody five times a day. Yeah. It's just part of my daily routine. One of my songs was a country rap number. I was hitching through a snowstorm. I was headed southward bound. Where the snow don't snow and the winds don't blow you down. It was early on a Sunday morning, you know. I was froze right through the bone, looking for a place where I could rest and kind of get my body warm. I thought I heard some singing. There was a few songs that I'd heard before. I walked in and they was all singing hymns. And glory to the Lord. So I sat down there in the back row so that I was not to raise a fuss. He turned around and looked me up and down, and this little short guy starts to cuss. I said, I'm sorry, sir, if this makes you mad, be not wearing a tie. And I sure didn't mean to cause any scenes or to make your old ladies cry. But I was cold and kind of tired of holding my thumb out there in the wind. I figured I'd stop a little while and I'd warm myself and then I'd hit the road again. Now they was calling me a sinner man and a whole bunch of ugly things. When they got sore and showed me the door, I knew it was time for me to leave. I damn near froze myself to death before that old truck came by. 